Hello, my name is Garg82, and welcome back to our FTB interaction series. I'm just throwing my old machines in a chest. I'm going to get this all sorted out. <laughs> I keep saying that, don't I? Uh, as soon as I can get disk drives and stuff all sorted out, all this stuff's going to go in my A system. I'll probably even throw all these annoying little one stack things that I'll, well, I don't know. Some stuff, like, I know for sure I probably will never use again. Um, maybe I'll get rid of. Like, I don't need four personal shrinking devices. <laughs> I crafted those up because I didn't realize it didn't get used up in that. But, uh, yeah. So, I've gone ahead and crafted up a furnace because I needed a whole bunch of stone for all the arcane things I was doing so I was like let me just craft up a a furnace for that and uh, I need to craft up a interface and we'll get that uh, we'll get this connected because there are a couple things I have been doing that require a furnace and uh, yeah just kind of slowly as I'm going upgrading as I'm trying to progress and as I'm trying to expand my A system and uh, just a lot of stuff we're kind of doing all at once. So we're not making super fast progress in any <laughs> in any place because, yeah, I'm doing like multiple things at once. Um, I did uh, read that you need to keep uh, putting will in to the chunk to get this to grow. And uh, I did do that. So if I do another one uh, it should make that grow now i can break this from what i read um, i can actually break this or i can like right click it but i need more will in my gem to do that i don't know if it uses i don't know if it uses the will to do that but uh yeah, and I'm pretty sure there is some sort of ritual that goes along with this stuff. I, I don't know the name of it, though, but I feel like... Yeah. By utilizing the Forsaken Soul Ritual, Demon Well is generated when mobs are killed. Ah, that's right. I do remember seeing that. Yes. The Animus Ritual of Peace can provide a constant supply of peaceful mobs, as can the Digital Sorcery... Pelo trio ritual. I actually got that Pelo trio thing. I got something. Some quest gave. I can't even remember where I put it. Maybe it's in here. Yeah, some quest gave. Yeah, Pelo trio. Although it does say there's nothing there, probably because I'm not progressed enough. Uh, but some. Yeah, some quest actually gave that, so that's kind of cool. It does kind of feed you. The quests definitely kind of feed you stuff that are helpful, for sure. Um, to harvest the will, you want to plant. To harvest the will, you'll want to plant demon crystals of each type and use a ritual of the fractured crystal to gather them as they grow. Finally, to collect the shards, you'll want to use a ritual of zephyr. <laughs> Or item collectors. So a whole lot of rituals. This is like not the easiest thing. I'm pretty sure you can. I feel like you can um, kind of stacked, stack the rituals. They kind of fit together. So you can do multiple ones, I believe. So like the Forsaken Soul Ritual might go fit in with the ritual the way the blocks are placed. I don't know. Um... Wait, no, the Animus Ritual Peace. The Animus is, uh, pretty sure that is, that's its own separate mod, isn't it? Yeah. Interesting. All right, I'll have to look into that or Google it because I have no idea uh, what. There it is. Yeah, I'll have to, like, look into that. Oh, we get the... All right, so I need to do this anyway, because then, look, we do get... We get that as a reward. That's kind of cool. 
uh, right there. All right, so I got to look into rituals, but uh, I think there's a couple things I need to do. One is go get a uh, a weak blood sword, and where do I want to get that? Um, I was thinking about maybe getting some more will. Um, I was also thinking about doing some um, enchanting, to be honest. Um, so many things I want to do here. Um, so let me get sorted here and figure out what I want to do. Okay, we are back, and I'm thinking I need to kind of focus here a little bit because uh, it's kind of a bit overwhelming, to be honest, <laughs> with all the things I'm trying to do at once. Uh, so I am going to wait on the Dimmune Well stuff, I think, for the time being. Um, we do have like three things on it, though. That's pretty cool. I think you can go up to nine, I think I read. I don't remember, though. Uh, so, yeah, what I'm doing right now is just crafting up the runes that we're going to need. And I think I think I'm going to do all, just all the I think I'm going to do all uh, capacity runes, I think. Uh, just uh, just because we do know if we put these in a thing with uh, one imbued slate, we actually get two from one rune. So we it makes it easier getting the 28 runes that we need. So I'm going to convert these into capacity runes, 26 capacity runes. There's the two left over we had from that. So, okay, that's what I think I'm going to do for the tier four altar and uh we'll probably look into some of the other i would i really wish we could get some sacrifice stuff but uh they do require this vengeful well we don't have that quite yet um that's kind of why i was looking into that a little bit but uh yeah so that's what i'm doing with that and then this should just be ticking away yeah that's just going to tick away while i'm doing other stuff and it's seven thousand. Actually, I can throw another one in. Uh, that's not what I wanted to put in there. Uh, yeah, it's seven thousand life essence. So it's actually going up at a decent clip here. I think I have one extra slate. I mean, I'm going to throw that in there. Actually, um, I did also make a recipe for blank slates, and uh, yeah, all right. So that is that. Now I would also like to craft up this ritual diviner. I do have the stuff in the thing. And I can remember how to teleport up there. There we go. Oh shoot. Right, it needs to be nighttime. That's why <laughs> that's why I waited. Is it getting dark or is it getting light? It's getting dark. Alright, cool. Um, yeah, so we're going to get this, and the reason I want to do that is for, one, for the quest, but we actually get, uh, some other things as well, so that's kind of annoying to craft up, but we get it from a quest, so that's kind of why I wanted to do that, so, yeah, we're going to get a ritual dismantle from the quest too, so as we can see, it's not the easiest thing in the world to craft up, but, uh, all right, there we go. So I'm hoping today we can get this stuff and hopefully get this rune set up. I don't know how many runes this is actually going to take. This might take kind of a while, to be honest. Um, but there we go. So that is pretty cool. Um, I'm running low on disk drives here, so I'm just going to throw... Actually... We does this like we shift shift right click on an altar to show altar outline. Doesn't say what. Wait, shift right click on an altar to show altar outline. 
If I click on an altar? This altar? <laughs> I was like, that's not what I thought that would do. Let me pull this out really quick. So if I click on an altar? Whoa. What did that just do? We did something. Oh, look at that. Well, that's cool. Yeah, this, unfortunately, <laughs> I ran out a little bit of room, so we're kind of encroaching on our our altar here. But, uh, all right, that's cool. We can see the blocks. Now, the tier something blocks are... Skystone blocks. All right, cool. Well, we can do that easy enough. And, uh... Pretty sure we even have them in here. I think it says on them, yeah. Used as tier four blood... Uh... Blood altar caps. Right, so do that. Oh, shift right click. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. Um, you can probably see the probably down here somewhere. Is that the right? Yeah, there you go. You can see the outline of the rune actually right down there. Uh, all right, cool. But uh, I'm pretty sure we just need the four on top. Don't need to worry about doing the whole thing. But uh, all right, so we'll get that going. And uh, I need to, what's this? Ritual, uh, Mr. Right. So this can actually lava crystal. All right, that's easy enough. The lava is a bit annoying, but, uh, yeah, so there is that way to craft it up. Well, there's two ways to do this. One is reinforced slates, high covalescence, flawless ruby, with the lava crystal, or you could just chuck it in the thing. Well, that seems like, <laughs> that doesn't seem like... A thing. All right, ritual stones. All right, they do require reinforced slates. Um, I don't know how many ritual stones we're actually going to need. Uh, thankfully, though, the reinforced slates are relatively easy to get, um, and we're actually filling this up pretty dang quick, to be honest. Uh, so, all right, let me get some more stuff here. Uh, I want to let me go grab. Let's make one of these weak activation crystals because actually we need. Why? No, I was like, I needed, uh, I needed a, a weak blood shard for something. I don't remember what it was for, but we needed it for something. I thought it was for that, but uh, all right. Anyway, yeah, we'll be back. Okay, let's go ahead and make this lava crystal. Get this done because the ritual, this quest actually, I noticed gives a bunch of ritual stones as well. There is the lava crystal that'll get us that. And yeah, we get 32 ritual stones, which is actually really cool. City. Just grab a just grab a couple stacks. Orbs are kind of weird. There we go. There is that master ritual stone. Yes, master magic or magician. Yeah, magician will actually work with that. All right. So there is that. And then we need to do this. Well, we'll let that do. Um, I did notice uh, what I was, I was like, shift right clicking this. I shift right clicked it a couple times and I realized I was missing blank runes. This actually places them for you as well. It was placing them down there where it's like open. So it could actually place them. But uh, yeah, that was kind of funny. I was like, wait, where did the runes go? Um, I did have to break them because I don't have enough until I upgrade them. Uh, yeah, that is... Oh yeah, look it says right on there. Keep clicking to automatically place altar blocks.
So, uh, yeah, that is good to know. All right, so there is that quest. Got that. Got Dusk. Is the dependency on that. Demonic Slate, Rituals, Ritual Diviner. Ah, Demonic Slates, that's what. I was like, what is locking that? All right, but we got that. We got that. That's good. Uh, let me upgrade these imbued slates so we can get this thing crafted up. I think I need 13 of these. I am processing iron. I just haven't got around to it. I need to, for sure, set up some automated... I definitely need to set up some automated stuff here because... I am getting tired of not having <laughs> doing all this manually. So, yes, I have officially got annoyed with having to do this manually. So, I might take a break from progression a little bit. I really just want these chickens so we don't have to worry about uh, getting this stuff yeah because i am not about farming nether stars so we can make interfaces no sorry i don't think i have any i can borrow an hv battery but not that bad all right yeah let me get the rest of these done and we'll come back okay you've got all the runes and i'm over in my little mob spawning area I have summoned a villager via the Zen thing to see if I can get a weak blood shard. I hope the villager things will work. I don't know, to be honest. Well, well that's not too terrible. Uh, unfortunately, I did not get a... Did not get one. All right, uh, I may summon one more and then maybe I'll go do the key thing. I don't really feel like fighting a whole wave of key or all six waves or whatever it is. So be right back. And there we go. I got it on the second one. So not too bad. All right, um, let's head back now. This will get us the master orb for the tier four. Or, or the master's master orb when we get the thing set up for the tier four is what I was trying to say. So, all right, should we try to get those set up? Let's do. I guess let's do this. Yeah. Assuming it's places them where they need to go. Yeah. Some of the altar is obstructed. No. Did I leave? Yes, I did. Got to do that one. There we go. All right, and there we go. We saw the blood drop. That is a tier four altar now. 90,000 90, uh, millibuckets, which is pretty cool, to be honest. Uh, we can do some decent things with that. Admittedly, <laughs> you can kind of cheese it a little bit uh, with the 40,000. You can kind of cheese it a bit with the time in the bottle, to be honest. Because this speeds that up. So. Whoa, what happened there? Is that something happen? Only tier three now. All right, well, that was a bit weird, right? It was tier four, right? It said tier four, didn't it?
the oh maybe the yeah it says tier four right there that's interesting i wonder if that's just like a bug or do these need to be i don't think they need to be shouldn't need to be something all right well it does say tier four right crazy hmm now it's tier three let me figure this one out and we'll be right back okay so underneath uh this thermal evaporation thing was actually in this block i don't know if that actually made any difference but i filled in all the air gaps and everything there were some air gaps over here as well just to make them all solid blocks um and i think i think that's because it is looking for the tier five i think that's why it's saying the altar is um constructed i also broke one of these and placed it back down to say like manually completing it yep and this actually does appear to work so i don't know if it was me manually breaking that or the air blocks i have a feeling it might have been the air blocks maybe even that thermal thermal evaporation block not sure but uh i even wondered if we needed more skystone blocks which I do not but uh all right so there is that you speed that up a tad four i think yeah four is just a little bit too much for this one thousand i think one thousand spectacle i'm doing but i need to hopefully that i feel like that is going in there right yeah, I feel like that is filling that up. We're just draining it faster. But, uh, all right, so we'll do that. And that is the Master Blood Orb for that. Now, last thing we need to do is the Awakened Activation Crystal. And we do have another star. I think it just finished. Yep. Oh, there we go. Awesome. There is that bound to me. Um, yeah, so we need this. We need another star. Well, something else I wanted the nether star for, and I don't remember what it was for. There was like a quest or something that I wanted to use this one nether star for, and I don't remember what it was. Maybe it was like, I think it was an ender star, but yeah, there was. Man, I don't remember what it was. Maybe was it that? I don't remember. No. Anyway, uh, I think we need to we we'll need to do this. So let me actually throw this over here. I did kind of mess up the symmetry, so it's a little more unstable than I want it to be. But uh, yeah, let me. I guess let me grab all the things we need. Two more reinforced slates. Let me make sure I got all the stuff. The mana pearls we can make now, and uh, yeah that thankfully i can craft those up i don't have it inputting the life essence automatically i don't have one that's like set up also i kind of need to i think we need to fill some of these in <laughs> i'm really tired of jumping over all that but uh, yeah, we could just do this. There we go. We got two of those. Start crafting those up. All right, we'll be right back. Okay, I got everything placed on the altar, the slates, mana pearls, my nether star, which makes me sad, but uh, I found out. Well, 
from the comments that part of the reason I was taking damage when fighting the Wither was the armor. So I have her taking that armor off. But uh, let me just double check really quick. We get 32, 47. Got enough of that. Potentia, 18. Enough of that. Victus, 32. Yeah. All right, so we got everything. Um, it's going to be a bit unstable. But uh, from... The last few ones that I've done, I haven't really seen any issues, to be honest. So, although I did kind of hear a weird sound, which sounded like something was like eat. Um, we're definitely we could a lot more instability, but I'm hoping since this is such a short thing, I mean, it's almost done with the the thing and there we go it's pulling the stuff in i was just hoping that it was such a short thing that it wasn't going to be too big of a deal all right there we go there is that that's complete quest complete all sorts of things here there we go and we also get a stabilized mob spawner and i don't know what I don't know what's in that and i don't want to place it down yet uh but i kind of want to i can't tell what's in it Does anyone know what's in that it doesn't say um if i place it down i can pick it back up can i since it's stabilized i'm assuming but what ends if it's like ender dragon or something like that i don't know i feel like i mean most of the things have been helpful so i wouldn't be i'd be a little shocked if it was completely trolly but, uh, all right, I want to, how do we, I'm trying to remember how to place this down. You see, it's probably not going to go right here, but is it, let me like roll or let me choose which one we want to place down. It is the ritual diviner, right? That does that. Yeah, we don't need to do the dusk one. How about you uh, like scrolled or something like that? Right click, shift right click. Come on. All right, I did something. Shift right click seems to be doing it. <laughs> Follow the zephyr, ritual of suppression, ritual of soul. Um, I don't remember which one we need. Falling Tower. Wow, there is a lot of them. High Jump. Steadfast Heart, Interdiction, Green Grove. Did we see Falling Tower? I feel like uh, I'm not seeing it. We need, oh, there it is. Hold shift for rune info, hold shift M for augmentation rune. All right, let me, let me find the, oh, I need to get 500,000 in my thing as well. Let's do that while I am looking this up. I just need to find out how many things we need. All right, <laughs> we're going to need, this is going to take a while. But like I said, we could always tap, tap, tap. Speed that up a little bit. Be right back. Okay, from what I am kind of from my Googling, <laughs> I believe it is a more advanced ritual, which is why it didn't show up, which is kind of what I figured. Um, but yeah, we need to get the ritual diviner dusk, I believe. So I've gone ahead and threw that in there and I just need, I forgot what it was. All right, flawless coal. You get the dusk one. 
So there is the Ritual Diviner Dusk, and I'm pretty sure that does all the ones the other one did, and then some. Also, I should be able to roll wheel, get that to change, but for some reason it doesn't want to work. So, I'm definitely seeing different ones here, which is good. Ritual, high jump, come on, where is this thing? Aldrich Will, Resonance of the Faceted Crystal. Man, there is a lot. Something about falling, wasn't it? I've already forgotten. I've gone through so many of these. Mark of the Falling Tower. There we go. All right. Obviously, it's not going to go right here. Okay, yeah. I figured it was kind of big. Um, I think you need a hundred ritual stones from what I am gathering. Now, don't think we need to, I don't think you need to, man, I don't remember if you need to do anything with the, oh, it's not air, is it? Yeah. You don't need to like use dye on them or ink on them anymore do you you just have to place them and it does it immediately i th i think um all right so where do we want to put this uh it's a bit big for under here i think where we're gonna do is i'm gonna place it up top i think and also i need to be getting this going again yeah we are gonna need to get this filled up that's gonna take me a while um, I'm going to figure out where I want to place this. I'm thinking, yeah, up top. And then uh, we need to feed this reagent. I'm assuming... Mark a Falling Tower ritual from Blood Burgers. And accept two unique catalysts, which provide you with the resources shown. Although I'm not, is it Skystone? I don't know what the, uh, <laughs> I'm like, is that the, is that the catalyst that we need to feed it? Star metal ore and we, yeah, I guess that's what it is. All right. So black, black of, block of black quartz will get us these and star metal ore will get us these. Um, that was a bit confusing because it doesn't say that is the catalyst. I'm assuming yeah there we go oh there it says additionally star metal works as a block to get more star metal rock crystals and many other magic ore. um all right but uh unfortunately i am not gonna have enough time today i need to basically afk and let this fill up uh and hit this a few times and get this filled up with five hundred thousand. I'm going to craft up a whole bunch more ritual stones. I believe it's these. They're not difficult, but again, we need more life essence. So, yeah, man, I really want more sacrifice rooms. That will speed this up. But again, we're running into the issue of will. So, so many things I'm trying to do all at once. And uh, yeah, we'll come back. Let's check out the ritual and see if we can get some plutonium. Thankfully, we actually have an Enderman thing for that. All right, that's cool. So yeah, we'll be back. Thanks for watching and have a good one.